Friday everyone it's Friday and here's what I'm taking with me to work so coffee is one smart point I have three uh, espresso capsules for zero smart points and four tablespoons of fat-free half and half for one smart point so coffee is one tea this morning is my teamy bloom again so I have one tablespoon of teamy bloom in here for zero smart points Breakfast is, yet again, I'm obsessed with this chocolate peanut butter banana oatmeal. So this entire container is only three smart points. So I have one third a cup Trader Joe's almond milk for zero smart points, two tablespoons of PB Fit for one smart point, my last, <laughs> and a quarter cup of dry oatmeal for two smart points one tablespoon of cocoa powder for zero smart points and two sweetener packets and of course the banana so all of that together is three smart points i mix everything but the banana in the container and heat in the microwave for about two and a half minutes and then i add the banana at the end so three smart points and the banana is perfect 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 on the inside and the outside because the banana bag is still pretty like it's not brand new but it's still pretty yellow so it's not looking too terrible, so I'm liking the banana bag, you guys. So, banana bag, Amazon, like nine bucks. Um, lunch is going to be wonton soup, so I have seven of the, oh, I don't have the bag. I have seven of the Trader Joe's mini cilantro, chicken cilantro wontons. Seven of them is one smart point. I'm gonna put them in this miso soup. This miso soup packet is one smart point, so it just comes in a little packet like that. So the miso soup will be three smart points together. And then my the rest of my lunch and part of my snack, I'll probably eat half of this for lunch and half for snack, is this Trader Joe's lightly salted edamame. So I have it in this container right now. It's frozen. I will heat it in the microwave. I think it's like five minutes. And then um, I have this other container for the empty pods. So that's my part of my lunch and part of my snack, and that is zero smart points. So everything I'm taking so far today is one for the coffee and three for breakfast, three for lunch, and that's it. So seven smart points. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take one of these too for, look, those are tiny, but they're cute. I'm gonna take one of these for in between breakfast and lunch. Hey guys, happy fry yay, fry yay. Love me some fry yay. So it's the first walk break of the day. My coworker just told me my hair is getting long and it looks good, so I wish it was like that much longer. <laughs> anyway, first walk break of the day. Here's my outfit of the day. And it feels so good to get outside and get warm because it's super cold in my office. Super, super cold. Um, outfit of the day, I got this little number, which I love, from a little swap um, that one of my friends arranged where everyone brought clothes that they didn't want and then they all shopped from everybody else's clothes and shoes and jewelry and purses and makeup. It was so much fun, so much fun. Anyway, that was years ago and I love, love this top. I love my shoulders showing. Anyway, um, I'm headed to the dollar store, of course. The reason is I have like six stores to go to this weekend for just random groceries and things I need to make this weekend. And so um, I six stores, so I'm trying to knock at least one of them out. Um, I just got a whistle. Anyway, headed to the dollar store, first walk break of the day. I'm super excited that today is a squat rest, but still gonna do my two mile run and the rest of guns, buns, and abs at lunchtime. And I will check in with you guys later. so brain dead and so cold 
It's like 90 something degrees and it feels amazing in the car because I'm so cold. I just did over 500 email in just the last few hours. My brain is done. So, it's the weekend, yay! I just wanted to tell you guys if you signed up late for the challenge, Kat and Kat's partner, <laughs> um, and everybody else, if you haven't touched base with your accountability partner yet for the challenges, check the description box down below because I have partnered everybody up with a buddy so that you can hold each other accountable for the entire month of August for whatever challenges you're doing. Um, one of you may be doing four challenges, one of you may be doing one, and any combination thereof. So whether you're doing all four challenges, you're doing one, two, three, help each other out, text each other, send emails, send some encouraging cards and notes and letters, and just be there for each other so we can have a super strong and awesome August. I can't wait to see how strong and healthy and fit everyone is by the end of the month. I am super excited. It's going really good for me so far. I was very excited to have a squat rest. Um, today, I don't know if I'm going to count my 100 healthy habits in 100 days because the challenge for today is to set a placemat for your dinner, light a candle, and I think put on some nice relaxing music. Well, I'd love to do that, but we are going out to dinner. We are going to Applebee's, um, so there will be a, a paper placemat. <laughs> there may be a candle. There will probably be loud rock music. <laughs> so um, I will probably have all of those elements and it will be a nice dinner, but I don't know if I should count that for today and give myself a sticker or not. What do you guys think? I mean, it's circumstantial, but this is also partly why I told you guys and told myself, remember to check the 100 Healthy Habits calendar the day before so that you can prepare yourself for whatever challenge is the next day. So um, I wouldn't have been able to do anything about it anyway, but just remember to check your calendar the day before so you can kind of prepare for whatever challenge is coming up the next day. So um, thank you so much, you guys, for all of your awesome video ideas. <laughs> I'm going to do them all. I'm going to do them all and they sound like so much fun. So the first two videos I want to work on are ask me anything and yes, that means anything and number two, www.jd. That still makes me laugh. What would Weight Watcher Julie do? So you guys submit your questions down below in your comments. Ask me anything and ask me what would Weight Watcher Julie do? So anything that has to do with Weight Watchers or fitness or food related, I will put in the www.jd video and anything else I will put in the ask me anything video. So submit your questions and when I have enough to do an entire video, I will. The www.jd videos, I generally just do about three questions at a time. So I will try to do that video in just the next few days for you guys. So yay, it's Friday. Um, I think that's really all I wanted to tell you guys, but um, so since I told you we're going out to dinner tonight, um, you already saw what I had for breakfast and lunch and snack. I was blessed enough to be able to, to be sent. I was blessed to have, I believe, seven flavors of ice cream from Arctic Zero sent to me. So I'm going to do a taste test tonight, hopefully with the main squeeze, Eddie. Um, we are going to do an Arctic Zero taste test and there is a surprise little contest as well for you guys. So that video will be up before this video, so if you haven't already watched it, go watch it now. That is going to be part of my afternoon snack and I'm hoping for about two to three points um, in ice cream and not much more. Um, I really need to see how much per per cup, per half cup, um, each of these ice creams are, and then kind of see how much we're gonna be tasting. It's not gonna be more than probably like a teaspoonful of each. Um, so I don't think it'll go beyond more than two or three points. So that is my snack for this afternoon. And then at Applebee's, I am going to have, um, hopefully, hopefully, probably crossing my fingers, a lovely, lovely glass of wine, which I miss so much. I'm gonna have some salmon and a baked potato. So I'll show you guys all the good stuff when I get there. And that's my plan for tonight. It's Friday, you guys. Friday, yay. I can't.
can't party too hard because I have to get up at 5.30 in the morning and go to work. So, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Friday afternoon. I will touch base with you in just a bit. Did I tell you guys that I already finished Girls' Night Out? <laughs> I finished it like um, two days ago. It was so good, so good. And now I am at least, or maybe about a fourth, a third of the way through The Good Daughter. <laughs> like, I can't help myself. I just can't get enough books right now. They're so good, both of them are so good. And I already bought um, Breakdown, which is the book by B.A. Paris. Um, it is the second, I don't know if it was written before the other book, but it's another book recommendation that someone suggested um, by B.A. Paris. So I bought that too. I'm gonna listen to that after The Good Daughter. And what I'll try to do is before each of the book club discussions is re-listen to the book that we're going to be discussing because that actually helps me a lot. Number one, I really love, I found that I love listening to a book the second time after I know the ending so I can start to put some of the pieces together a little easier. It really helps me out, especially if I'm going to be leading a discussion. It's so much better than like not knowing what's going on. And then second of all, I just wanna be really fresh for you guys so that I am more informed and make sure I've read the book and finished it and all that good stuff. So, but I'm super like into books right now, so into books. So thank you guys so much, everybody who's in the book club. I am loving it. Thank you.